On the morning of January 19th, 2012, uh, the university had canceled classes because it was snowy and uh, Holly and I were sleeping in our apartment on the corner of 5th and Blaine here in Moscow when there, there was an explosion in our apartment that, that woke us up. At first, you know, we were kind of still kind of groggy, you know, we'd just woken up and, and um, Andrew was saying, oh, it's fine, go back to sleep, you know. Um, but I think it took us a couple of minutes to realize what had actually happened. Then we started to smell the smoke, so Andrew and I tried to get up and he had to actually kick the door open because the whole building had shifted. Uh, the fire was worst over our apartment in kind of the crawl space attic. And uh, so the fire department kind of tried to gather our belongings and throw a tarp over them so they wouldn't get too much of the insulation and the soot on it. Uh, but they had to tear out the, the roof in parts and walls and to really get at this fire that was kind of in the, the structure of the building. Uh, we were given one hour to get our things out of the building because um, the frame had shifted so much that they were going to condemn it. And um, after the firefighters had been in and uh, put out the fire in our attic, everything was uh, not only sooty, but you know covered in insulation and very wet. And then we had to just throw our things out into the snow because we were so crunched on time. So. And so then having the Red Cross volunteers there, uh, they, you know, helped us and gave us a lot of instruction of how to, you know, clean our clothes so it wouldn't smell like smoke, how to um, kind of make the best of what we could get out. And then they, they gave us the money so we could replace the things we couldn't get out, like food and, and some of our clothes, like shoes, uh, but we weren't sure where they were and, and what condition they were in. And so just having them there to provide that support was, I think, what really got us back on our feet in a reasonable amount of time.